All right, so people are always asking that question, right? Uh, how do I grow my faith? How do I, how do I build my faith? Um, you can stretch your faith, right? Your faith can be grown, but you have all the faith that you're going to get. You have it right now, right? All, all the faith that you're ever going to get, you got at salvation. Jesus did a complete work in you. It's completely complete, right? He didn't do a halfway job. He's not, he's not a 99.9% .9 God, right? He's 100% God. And so he gave you everything that you need right at, right at the beginning, right? So you can stretch your faith. You can grow your faith. But, but really, I like to talk about like building your faith. And so you build your faith by taking reasonable strides, reasonable stretches, right? When you go to the gym and you work out, you don't just uh, stack tons and tons of weight on your bar. You have to kind of work up to certain weights, right? So we call those gains, right? With a Z, right? Gains. So yeah, so, yeah it's Friday. It's gains day or whatever. But um, anyways, uh, you have to work your way up to the same with faith. You have to take reasonable steps. It's not like, I don't know, give me a workout. Like a, I don't know what, like a, like a bench press? Okay, so like let's say you're doing like 100 pounds. I don't know, maybe that's awesome. Um, but you, would, you wouldn't just jump up to 200 pounds. You'd go to like 105, right? And you do that for like a week. And then you go like 110 and you go to 115. And yeah, and somebody say gains. Gains, okay. And then eventually you get to the, you know, your, your goal, which is whatever your goal might be, right? So anyways, the best way to build your faith, the best way to get spirit gains, I had to put that in my notes. Where's my pen? <laughs> is to confess, is to work on your confession. Do you guys know who F.F. F. Bosworth is? He's, a, he's an author. He wrote a great book called Christ the Healer. If you, if you need healing in your body, he's written other books, but um, this book in particular, if, you're, if you want to get it, probably the most solid book that I can think of um, related to how to, um, how to get your healing, it's F.F. F. Bosworth. I've given out dozens and dozens of copies over the years. F.F. F. Bosworth said this. I'm going to read this to you. I got this, this quote, uh, and I'm going to read it straight out of the book because I don't want to mess it up. It says, a spiritual law that few recognize is that our confession rules us. It is what we confess with our lips that really dominates our inner being. Nothing will establish you and build your faith as quickly as confession. The confession of your lips that has grown out of faith in your heart will absolutely defeat the adversary in every combat. Here's the best part. God can be no bigger than you confess him to be. Okay, so fight the good fight of faith. First of all, I think it's important to understand that the fight of faith is a good fight. Right? So people are like, ah, oh, man, it's just, I'm fighting. How many of you guys feel like you're fighting all the time? I got to fight for everything. It's like the grind. I got to wake up and grind and fight it out. Man, sometimes it's like that, but the fight of faith is a good fight. It's a good fight. And I don't know if you've ever, have you ever like, how many guys in here like to watch fights? Like UFC, Bellator, um, okay, so... Um, in your mind, I want you to think about a good fight. The guy just walk in and grab a belt? No. He probably grounded out for about 30 minutes. There's probably some blood involved. This is probably, yeah, <laughs> bleeding all over his belt. <laughs> this is probably a lot of exhaustion involved. But it was a good fight, wasn't it? You watch it, you're like, that was a good fight. See that? So there's a good fight to faith, right? Is gritty, down and gritty. It's a good fight. Holy Spirit said this through the Apostle Paul. The good fight requires a good confession. It's part of the good fight, you guys. Listen, so if you have a bad confession, you can expect to be in a bad fight. You can't expect to have a good fight if you've got a bad confession. Hello? Yeah. Come on, because this is when it's like, oh, my life is such a battle. Like, well, change your confession. You, you've got a bad confession. If you've got a bad confession, you're going to have a bad fight. That's right. You understand? You've got to have a good confession. If you want to have a good fight, you need to have a good confession. That's right. Hello? Come on, this is so good. The fight of faith is not a losing fight. It's a winning fight. That's what makes it so good. You're going to win. Be like, oh, man, but my lip's bloody. So what? Keep throwing those bones, man. Yeah. Get out there. You're not done. Get out there. That's right. Keep fighting that good fight. Hold fast. To your confession of faith and get your bloody lip out there and keep on boxing amen sure. you want to win i'm telling you church how to win this is how you win